Hey, what's up, people? Um, so I'm going to show you a, a quick run through on how to get started with your Fire Stick and Cody. <clears throat> so um, I'm assuming that you have uh, Cody pre-installed already. Uh, this video is not for um, how to install Cody. Uh, this video is more how to install my build and how to install additional add-ons. Okay. So I'm assuming that you have Cody already uh, pre-installed in your Fire Stick. So we're on the home page. Um, if you don't have Cody under your recent apps that you use, uh, then you can open Cody under your apps and games. So go to your apps and games, see all, and look for Cody. Uh, I have Cody at the bottom. Open it up. <clears throat> yeah, so I had Cody already running in the background, so that's why it loaded pretty quick. Yours may take a minute or two to load up. All right, so as you can see, I don't have any add-ons installed right now. Okay. All right, so we need to install some add-ons or build. So first thing we need to do is enable unknown sources. So click on the gear. Go to system settings. Go down to add-ons, okay. Go down to unknown sources and click on that and, and en enable unknown sources, okay. Boom, so we got that enabled. All right, next we need to go to the file manager, right? And we need to add a source. I have my source here, but I'm just gonna show you how to add a new source. So you click on add source. And what you need is you need the address for that source, and you also need the name. Um, pretty much a source is a it could be an address to a uh, repo, and our repo has some additional add-ons that you can install in Cody. So I have a expire zero hub here, uh, which is mine. Uh, just to show you, I have the address, and I gave it a name of a. Uh, expired zero hub okay hit okay go back <clears throat> so now we can go back to the add-ons section all right and from the add-on section we need to install from repo repository all right so when you click on that link on a new clean version of a uh, Cody, you don't get all these menu options. So just click the two dots at the top to take you back. Click on um, install from zip. Select the Aspire Zero Hub as your you know, that we created. Okay, make sure y'all can see. Hold on. Just went upside down. What the? What the? Come on. There we go. I don't know what that was about. All right, click on the zip. All right, so the repo is installed. Now we can install from the repo. Um, expire zero hub, of course. Uh, go to programs. And the name of uh, my build is, I mean, my wizard is actually called Xhub Wiz. So you click on that. So you want to install the wizard. Okay. The first time installing a wizard, it's going to give you some basic information. Uh, feel free to read it if you want to. Uh, click on dismiss. Uh, I was going to ask you for some configuration changes. Uh, just you know, keep the default. Click on continue. Another screen is going to come up asking you: Do you want to go to the build menu or do you want to ignore? Go ahead and uh, click on build menu. All right, so we have a couple of options here. So we're like I said, we're running Krypton. 
Um, if you're running Jarvis, of course, you have to use the Jarvis builds. But um, since I am running Krypton, I have two options here. All right, I have one that's internal network only. I mean, you have to be on my particular network to use that option. The first option is for the public internet, the public domain. So most people will use that domain, that link to, to install the build. So let's go ahead and click on uh, the internal network only for me. All right, I wanna do a fresh install. Uh, click on continue. All right, so from here is going to um, download the build information uh, from my internal server here. Uh, it's going pretty quick. It shouldn't take less. It should take less than a minute. Uh, it's 404 megs right now. down to 30 seconds all right got about 15 seconds now cool so the build data has been downloaded to the stick now and uh the wizard is currently installing the add-on files and the scripts and uh the theme for cody <clears throat> this should take no um, about maybe three four minutes or less We almost there. So what this is doing, this is going to install my repo. It's going to install my build. Um, a build is nothing more than a template that has uh, some predefined add-ons and some predefined settings in there. Uh, I usually update the build maybe every 30 days, every 20 to 30 days. Um, the add-ons should self-update, so there's not much to, I have to do with the add-ons. cool so uh we got the files installed so we have two options now we can reload the profile or we can force close let's go ahead and force close it all right go back to your home screen excuse me oh wait drink some beer all right <clears throat> let's go to settings and we're going to go to applications what I like to do is I like to stop Cody and clear the cache, you know, before I load it back up again. So go to manage install apps. Go down to Cody. Make sure it's stopped. So click on force stop and then click on clear cache. Make sure you're not clicking on clear data. 
because if you query data, you're actually going to erase everything we just downloaded. So you want to query cache. Okay. Go back to the home screen. And let's open up Cody again. Okay. So, um, if you see this intro, that means, you know, that's the intro to the build. So, I mean, everything's working all right now. There's going to be some updates that come in. Um, so, get about maybe another three minutes uh, for those updates to complete. Look like we got some type of notification on TV to add ons. Um, occasionally, you'll get these uh, pop ups from TV add ons because I had the repo installed in the build. Um, feel free to read it. You no, know, you don't have to. You go over to dismiss and uh, close it out. So now uh, the build is ready to go. Uh, we can start using it. Uh, just give you a run through real quick. All right, we have you know some of your top top contenders as far as add-ons. You know we have uh, Exodus, Sound Sound Hunter, we have Bob Phoenix, Maverick of course. Um, close that out. And some boxing hits, uh, which is a new one, uh, but. Uh, boxing has just moved over to uh, is now I believe it's now part of Bob. I have to check that. But um, all right, let's go back over. Uh, as far as Zero Hub is um, my personal repo. Um, you need a password to get into it. So if you want access, you have to hit me up to gain access to the repo. Uh, let me just log in and show you what's in there. Uh, yeah, I know I'm showing the password on the video, but I, I could change the password. That's no problem. All right, so I have Prison Break Season 1, season one on here. Um, under Master X, I got two movies right now, but I'm going to be adding more content over time. Um, so we have Sleepless in uh, 12 rounds. Let's go ahead and play Sleepless real quick. So scan forward a little bit so you can see the quality. Yeah, there it go. So as you can see, you know, for my repo, um, it's playing flawless. Uh, you don't have to worry about buffering or anything like that. Here's 12 rounds. This should show you. It's loading right up, you know, no problems. And like I said, that's my add-on. Um, you have to have the password to get access to it. All right, so if you, um, you know, watch other movies, you have Bob. Let's try Bob out. The first time loading Bob, it, Bob takes a little while uh, for some odd reason. But give Bob maybe about a minute to two or two. It should load up. There we go. 
So Bob got some options here. Y'all can play around with them later. Um, so let's click on new releases, see what Bob got. Alright, uh, so Bob got Logan, personal shopper, let's see if Logan plays. Uh, let's see, Bob's your uncle, okay Bob, click on HD. Okay, just give Bob a few seconds um, to load up the stream. As you can see, Bob's taking a little longer than my add-on. So, but Bob is a good add-on. He's one to talk. So Bob is playing, uh, hmm, interesting. Bob is playing 12 rounds. Why is Bob playing 12 rounds? Let's try that again. All right, there we go. Bob is playing Logan. Not a bad copy, though. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to play the whole thing, so just want to give you, you know, show you what's going on. And then, of course, you know, you have, you know, Silent Hunter, Exodus. Everyone knows Exodus. Silent Hunter, not bad. Another uh, up-and-coming uh, add-on. Yeah, just so you know, um, Silent Hunter... And Maverick just they teamed up and they teamed up to create a uh, new add-on so if you go to the videos down to add-ons they created a new one called Skynet let's see if I can find it I'm pretty sure I have it on here yeah here, here's stuck Skynet and uh, as you can see uh, you have Maverick TV in here, Supremacy, Silent Hunter, Dojo Drink, the Streams. It, and they, these guys are doing some good things. You know, they got a lot of good content in there, so check them out. And um, let's see what else. This is not a full overview of the build. Um, I'll probably do a, another video of my entire build. But as you can see, I got um, some movies in here. Should be about 800. Yeah, it looked like 833 movies under movies. Uh, some TV shows like Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 16. Let's just check that out real quick. Let's see if this play. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, so that's playing Walking Dead. There we go. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you ever needed to uh, reinstall the build, or if you want to grab the latest version of the build, then what you want to do is uh, go over to uh, Programs, click on Programs. 
go down to uh, X Hub, click on that, and um, there's some options in here, but you click on builds, excuse me, and you can pretty much do a, a reinstall, a fresh install. And this, the fresh install will actually give you the latest version of that build. And like I said, I update the build to every 20 to 30 days. So you might want to do this often. You know, just make sure you have the latest um, the information, the latest add-ons, and the latest working add-ons. So, um, let's see what else. Um, that's pretty much it for this uh, video. All right, thanks, guys.